Baxter's editorial. Uh, Satan's Master Plan Advancing, Implications of Obama Trade. In warfare, knowing the enemy's plan takes away the element of surprise and provides a huge advantage in preparing to fight against that plan. There is presently a plan that is being carried out every single day on earth. It is called Satan's Master Plan. Satan's Master Plan is revealed through the Bible. The most concise overview of the three main components of this plan is given in Revelation 13. The three strategies leading to Satan's plan are one world government, Revelation 13, 1 through 8, one world religion, Revelation 13, 11 through 15, and one world economy, Revelation 13, 16 through 18. Once we understand these components, it is easy to see how almost all world events are contributing in one way or another to the execution of this master plan. Economic Union, the road to political union. It is generally believed by world planners that economic union is the key to achieving political union. After World War II, the leaders of Europe believed the future of Europe lay in eliminating national sovereignty and in emerging the individual nations of Europe into the United States of Europe. They launched their plan in 1957 by performing an economic union called the Common Market. By 1992, all the trade barriers had been eliminated among the member nations and the economic union was complete. Europe then changed its name from Common Market to European, Mar European Union. The new goal for Europe was political union. By 1999, the EU had a new money, the Euro, and by 2009, they adopted the first ever European Constitution. Two weeks later, they chose their first European president and their first European foreign minister. Today, the European Union is a virtual United States of Europe, and it all started with economic unification. Applying the European model to the entire world. Many global strategists believe there will never be peace on earth until nationhood is eliminated, borders are dissolved, and the entire world is merged into a system of global governance. The global planners say the track the Europeans have followed to political union can serve as a model for merging the entire world into a true United Nations of the world. Most of them agree that the first step toward political union must be economic union. TPP, Leap Toward World Government. For some time, President Obama has been negotiating the largest trade agreement the world has ever known. The agreement is called the Trans-Pacific Partnership, TPP. U.S. Senator Jeff Sessions is worried that the adoption of the Trans-Pacific Partnership would lead to an historic international regulatory commission that would encompass 90% of the world's GDP. He's concerned that it would create a self-governing and self perpetuating commission with extraordinary implications for American workers and American sovereignty. Fast track plan to unify 90% of world's economy. President Obama knows that he could not get the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement presently under negotiation approved if he had to get a two-thirds vote ratification by the Senate which would be required if the agreement were presented to Congress as a treaty. Therefore, he is re requesting what is called fast-track authority. The law granting fast-track authority is called the Trade Promotion Authority, TPA. 
The House has just voted 218 to 208 to grant fast track authority to President Obama. The Senate is scheduled to vote on the bill as this magazine is going to press. Senator Sessions explains his opposition to the bill. It is essential that there be no misunderstanding. Fast track pre-approves the formation of not only the unprecedentedly large Trans-Pacific Partnership, but an unlimited number of such agreements over the next six years. Those pacts include three of the most ambitious ever contemplated. After TPP comes the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, TTIP, between the United States and the European Union, followed by the Trade in Services Agreement, TISA, seeking as one its goal labor mobility among more than 50 nations. Together, these three national compacts encompass three-fourths of the world's GDP, including the nation whose membership is being courted for after enactment. The countries involved would encompass nearly 90% of the global GDP. Yet, through the fast track, Cong Congress will have authorized the president to ink these deals before a page of them has been made public. Then the executive sends Congress implementing legislation to change U.S. law legislation, which cannot be amended, cannot be filibustered, and will not be subjected to the constitutional requirement for a two-thirds treaty vote. Remember, economic union, then political union. It is obvious that President Obama does not plan to spend his last 18 months as a lame duck president. Could his legacy end up being the establishment of a, of a one world economy, which would then pave the way for the prophesied one world government? All right, well, thanks for watching.